Hey guys, even here. So as you saw in the title of the video, Tom Prince passed away at the age of 52. May he rest in peace. As you can see right here, he was a phenomenal bodybuilder. He was basically one of a kind. He had this incredible look, but unfortunately he was forced to retire early because he had a kidney failure. What caused this kidney failure, from what I heard, was a heavy painkiller use. His kidneys failed and he was on dialysis ever since. This happened back in 2003, so for the past 20 years, a machine had to clean out his blood. I don't know if this had anything to do with his death, it could be something completely unrelated. I don't know what is the cause of death yet. But Dave Palombo and the RX Muscle posted this information on Instagram and they were friends with Tom Prince. He made a couple of appearances uh, on the RX Muscle show. He was always open about what happened to him, so you can check out those videos on YouTube. Anyways, the footage that you saw at the beginning of this video is a posing routine of Tom Prince from 1996 USA's where he actually didn't win. He won the next year, 1997, uh, he earned his pro card, but this year, I believe this was his best ever. No, he didn't win, he was second to Jay Cutler, but he looked absolutely amazing, ridiculous. Look at this kind of, this sort of granite look, right? The dryness, the fullness, the, the, the shape. He was really genetically blessed, like really unique physique. And uh, if what happened to him didn't happen, he probably could have went a long, long way. He probably could have been like in the top, in the very top at the Mr. Olympia, even when it was the most competitive back in the late 90s, early 2000s, when Ronnie was dominating. Between winning a pro card in 1997 and having a kidney failure in 2002, he did a couple of shows. One of them, where he looked his best uh, probably as a pro, was the 9th of Champions uh, 2001, where he took third spot. But after that, shortly after that, he had to retire. His kidneys weren't well. He kept competing, and I think that's why his kidneys failed. Maybe he could have saved them, but he kept doing it, and he was on a whole bunch of painkillers. I heard he was taking like 6 to 8 Advils a day for years. His career, unfortunately, was very short-lasting, but if he stayed healthy, he probably had the potential to be one of the top guys. I'm sure most of the older guys who used to follow bodybuilding during the 90s know him for a bodybuilder he once was, but I believe the younger guys, the new generation, know him for his kidney failure. I mean, he talked openly about it uh, on multiple occasions, and also because he, he, he lost a lot of size between being a 300 pound bodybuilder and looking uh, very, very, very slim uh, after retiring. Of course, you know why that happened. I mean, how big can you really be if you don't have kidney function? He died way too young at the age of 52, but he will be remembered as one of the best bodybuilders ever. May he rest in peace.